Hi there, today we're going to learn how to do a likelihood ratio test in R. And as with many R tests, the first thing that we're going to want to do is install a bunch of packages. If you haven't done so already, we're going to do LM test, dplyr, and stargazer. Here's the syntax for doing that. If you haven't done so already, we have these packages. So what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and load the libraries before we get going. And let's work with our data set which is going to be empty cars. It's a built-in data set in R. And as you can see, it's a bunch of information about cars, miles per gallon, cylinders, horsepower, gears, and so forth. Now, a likelihood ratio test is gonna take place when we have two models or, or more uh, regression models. And let's say that we're trying to reduce models. So we have a model with, I don't know, N predictors, and now we're trying to do it with N minus two predictors. And let's, you know, try to see do we go with the full model or do we go with the reduced model? Now, in order to see that in action, let's go ahead and create these models first of all. I'm going to do that for you right now, then kind of scroll up. All right, so in this full model, we're trying to understand the impact of weight, horsepower, cylinders, etc., on miles per gallon. So we have a lot of predictors here. Down here, you can see their p-values. And then in the reduced model, I've taken out a couple of the predictors um, and just left uh, weight and cylinders. And so now what we want to do is run the LR test, the likelihood ratio test, and the syntax for doing so is right here. So it's LR test, and then within the parentheses, um, the models that we're comparing, which as you can see, I named them reduced model and full model here. So whatever your names are, you just put them in there. Now, the key thing we're looking for here is, is the p-value of the comparison here, here we're comparing um, model number two, which is the reduced one, to model number one, which is the full one. If that p is less than 0 0.05, we will probably want to prefer the full model. So here we have an interesting outcome. We have a p greater than 0 0.05. So you have some leeway. You could go ahead and you could actually, you could go ahead and use the reduced model perhaps, or at the very least you could conduct it and report on it. Now, I wanna show you how to use Stargazer to make that look really cool. Stargazer makes really nice tables in R. It can do so in LaTeX if you have a LaTeX editor, or if you use the syntax that I'm using here and just say type text, and then just follow my, my example here, you know, your two models and just press enter, you'll see it right in our studio. It looks pretty nice and clean. Um, one thing you'll notice here is that cylinders is statistically significant in the reduced model, but it's no longer significant once we include horsepower and the other variables. So this is a good opportunity for you to see that, you know, neither of these models is necessarily preferable to the other. If you just had the reduced model, you'd have to account for why cylinder is no longer statistically significant. This could be spurious here. So that's why it can be good to actually show multiple models sort of side by side, right? So here, including the full and the reduced model, but the likelihood test is, likelihood ratio test is a great way to at least begin to compare the explanatory power of those models, the full and reduced types.